just kind of give it a backdrop. This right here is what rabbit feet look like, rabbit tracks. They lead off with their back two legs, they hop, but they have their front two legs to pull them up. And they're usually skipped out. There's one here, then one down there, one down there. You can usually find out where a den is once you find these. So what I want to do is I want to tell you can follow these tracks up and try to find a rabbit today. With the 625 Magnum Cold Steel Blowgun. It's completely snowy out. It's a beautiful day. We'll do some bushcraft while we're out and have some fun. Wiggle with Wiggles Outdoors. Make sure to check out all my other videos. I've got tons of outdoors videos on here. That's all I post. Let's see if we can get a rabbit or a squirrel or anything. Make it some other than what's right here and I'm not sure what that is it could just be a dog that's like galloping or running or something <sighs> so now we just wander around on the trail until we see like a squirrel or something honestly it's a little late in the day though probably won't see one it's like midday around two o'clock or something like that so they're not really out there hardcore right now so more or less I'm just walking around getting some exercise up here a couple miles in but we are going to make some cappuccino here shortly and uh, enjoy some bushcraft. See what we can do. It's kind of fun up here, really. I enjoy it. Possible uh, coyote and or dog prints. Certainly is a lot of coyotes up here. And right now, this time of the year, they're uh, definitely going to be looking for food a lot more than what they normally would. So, it's very possible, but I don't really see more than one. It just seems like one, so it's possibly it's just a dog. Just a little far in for it to be a dog, that's all. There is, uh, well, the only chance, there might be two because there's one paw print that's smaller than the other ones. So, beautiful day out here. I just love being in the snow like this. You can just look around and just enjoy the peace. It's beautiful. Now it's apparent to me that there are multiple tracks. There's uh, different sizes. See, the way you tell is like there's different points on it. Dogs usually leave just like three or four prints just in a straight row. They don't have them like side by side. So when there's multiple ones side by side like these here, that's a sign. It's also a sign when uh, one's smaller than the others. And the way these are running through here on these ridge lines actually tells me this is possibly coyotes. Uh, a very good chance of it actually. Sure, here's a perfect seat. So it's clearing the snow out so I don't get cold butt syndrome. Speaking of coyotes, I actually have my coyote pelt with me today. It's uh, just a little strand, just scrap fabric is all it is. I thought about making something out of it, but I think I'm just gonna leave it hanging on my backpack. I kinda like it there. Let's see what we got in here. Got my flute. And I think I got some capture. Said. I've got a little lighter in here just uh, in case I ever have to go without or something. I've got to set pretty low. And then I've got my titanium spoon, of course, and I keep my sterno stove in there. And this is just one of those Walmart sterno stoves. It's not a, like a, like a, <laughs> a really expensive one. But it does do really good. It's really lightweight and it works. And that's what I like about it. It also doesn't require a lighter, and that's one thing that, you know, I can actually shed weight with that. I'm always going to carry multiple fire sources with me because, uh, one of the big rules of survival is if you go into the forest with just uh, you know one way to make fire, you're asking to die. It's uh, an awful idea because especially where it's cold like this, if I didn't have a good shelter, if I didn't have my down bags and stuff like that, if I had to you know survive right now without my camping gear with me, had to craft a shelter, I could craft a shelter, but that's one thing. Without a fire, that's another thing. It's really hard to do. So you always want to have multiple ways to start a fire. Uh, practice your fire skills, uh, you know, bow drills, hand drills, things like that. It's just it's worth doing.
snow. Uh, one trick to filling things up with snow, you don't ever want to pull snow. Everybody's got this idea that you can just take and when it's snowing you can just put snow in a pot and pull it down. It works, but you're not going to get much out of it uh, because it's going to vaporize most of it away. What you actually need to do is fill this thing up with snow, your container, and you let your uh, container itself actually heat it up to the point where it melts. You keep it close to your body, that kind of thing. Uh, Another tip, you never want to grab the main top layer of snow, especially if it's black, because that's usually bacteria. The snow underneath that dough is fine. It's almost done boiling. Well, I've taken my dose of nature and cured all my worries away. A day in the bush has been done. It is now time for me to head out of the woods. So if you like this video, toss me a like below and subscribe for more videos like this. Go check out my other ones. And uh, if you really like it and you think your friends will like it, share it to your friends.